Good morning, students. So the first and foremost step for preventing ourselves from coronavirus is to wash our hands frequently. And this video will show how to wash your hand in the right way. Wet your hands with water. Apply soap, rub your hands palm to palm and wash the backs of both hands and in between your fingers. Then palm to palm with fingers interlocked. Clasp your hands together and rub and then clean around the thumbs too. Rub your fingertips in the palms of your hands and finish off with the wrists. Rinse your hands really well with water and dry them thoroughly with a paper towel. Use the towel to turn off the tap. Your hands are now clean. So today's session is about topic 12, lesson 12.4, number line and fractions less than one. So we are going to cover page number 627 till 629. And your homework is assigned on Pearson online. So you can log into your Pearson account to check your homework. OK, let's review what we have learned in the previous lesson. We have learned about the whole, about the whole. We discussed that when we have to write the fraction for all the parts, we call it a whole. And in that fractions, the numerator and the denominator are same or different? Excellent. The numerator and denominator are equal or same. And then the whole is equal to one. How? Just look into this picture. The one whole or all the parts are represented by a fraction four of four. And this is equal to one because this is about the whole, all the parts, the one shape. So whenever you write any fraction for whole, where numerator and denominator are equal, so that fraction is equal to one. Whenever you write a fraction representing a whole, that is equal to excellent one. Very good. Now let's discuss, I'll give you an example that how to do this lesson. So I have a problem that I have to show three fourth on a number line. So we know about the number line, right? So here I have to show three fourth on a number line. So how I'm going to do that? What are the steps I have to follow? to make a number line to show any fraction. So first of all, I will draw a line, okay? And then the first end, the second end, the beginning and the end of the number line. It starts from zero and it ends on one. This is same for all the question that you will draw a number line and the number line must start from zero and it ends on one. Why? Because this lesson is about the fractions less than one. We cannot read for the fractions more than one or bigger than one. So we have to be between zero and one. So the end point for this lesson on number line is going to be excellent, one. Now, we just discussed in previous slide then that when you write a whole, a fraction for the whole, it is equal to what? what? Very good, it's equal to one. Now I have to divide in the next step, I have to divide my number line into equal parts, but how many equal parts? So for that, you have to look at your denominator, denominator. You have to look the fraction given in the question. You will look for your denominator and you will divide your number line equal to your denominator. Now I have to divide my number line into four equal parts because my denominator is four. Very good. So this is my first part, second part, third part, and the fourth part is already given. 
the fourth part is already given. So now my number line is divided into four equal parts. Four equal parts. Why four equal parts? Because my denominator is very good. It's four. So I divided my number line into very good. Four equal parts. Now we discussed in the previous slide that when we are writing the whole fraction where numerator and denominator are same, that is equal to 1. Now, why my denominator is 4? Because it is given in the question. And my numerator is 4 because it is equal to 1. So, numerator and denominator have to be same. So, my last fraction is equal to 4 of now let's write a fraction for the first part. What will be my denominator? Denominator is always same in the same number line. You cannot change the denominator. So what is the denominator for this problem? It's 4. Very good. So my denominator is 4. But what is going to be my numerator for this first part? This is part 1. I am describing one part. So my numerator is going to be one. Excellent. So my fraction for first part will be one of fourth or one fourth. Why one? Because this is the first part. Why four? Because our whole is four of fourth. So denominator is going to be four for all the fractions. Now I have to write fraction for my second part. This is my second mark on the number line. Second mark, part two. One part, now second part. So two parts. So my numerator will be excellent. It will be two. And what will be by denominator? Four. Bravo. So the fraction for the second mark will be 2 of 4th, 2 4th, right? Now the third part. This is my third part. I have written fraction for part 1, then part 2. Now for part 3, this is the third part. I have to write the denominator for three parts. Uh, sorry, the numerator for three parts. So what is going to be the numerator for three parts? Excellent, it's three. And the denominator, like we have in all the fractions, it is four. Bravo. So this is three-fourths on the number line. And the last one, because it is fourth part, the numerator is four. And the denominator is four. And because it is a whole, so this is equal to one. Now we have to show 3 by 4 on the number line. So where is 3 by 4? Here it is. So we will circle it or we can make a mark on number line that 3 by 4 lies here on the number line. So this is how we are going to do all the questions. Again, I'm repeating. First, I will make a number line. I will show my beginning from zero and I will end my number line on one. Then I have to divide my number line in equal parts by looking at the denominator given in the question. Now, after dividing the parts, I will write the fractions for each part. Okay, now begin the lesson 12.4. And page number 628, what is the problem given here? At a stack park, there is one mile hiking path between the park entrance and the beach. Okay, scenic lookouts, scenic lookouts are located at point one third and two third of the distance. So, scenic lookouts are located at one third and two third of the distance from the park entrance to the beach. Show about where 
the lookout points are located on the line below. So now we have a line, it's starting from zero and it's finishing on one as we discussed in the example. And what is the denominator given in the problem? What is the denominator? It's three, very good. So our whole is going to be three by three. Okay, now, and how many parts I have to divide my number line? Look at the denominator. So what is my denominator? Three, so I have to divide it into three equal parts. First part, second part, and third part is already given. Now I have divided the number line into three equal parts. So what is going to be the fraction for the first part? One part. Very good, it is this one. One of third. And what is a fraction for my second part? This one, very good. It is two of third. So, show about where the lookout points. So here are the lookout points. The first lookout point is this one and the second lookout point is this one. So let me show you in another form. So we can draw the fractions on the number line and then I divided the number line into three equal parts and then I wrote one third and two third at the correct points. That's it for this problem. Okay, next page, we will start from question three. Now, two equal lengths. What is a fraction given in the problem? One half. Very good. What is the denominator? Two. Bravo. So, how many parts I have to divide my number line into? Two parts. Very good. So, one part and the second part is already given. So what is a fraction for this part? One numerator because it is the first part and what is a denominator? Very good, two. It's given in the question. Likewise, we will solve question four. We have to divide it into four equal parts. So one, two and three and the fourth one is already given now what is a fraction for first part one by what is the denominator excellent it's four what is a fraction for second part part two for two parts the numerator will be two excellent and what is going to be my denominator it is same for all uh, the points on the number line. So what is the denominator given? Four. Excellent. The third one will be three is the numerator and four will be the denominator. Okay, from question five to eight, you have to show uh, the fractions given in the question on the number line. So how you can do that? You have to divide the number lines into the denominator given in that specific question. For example, in question five, you are going to divide your number line into three equal parts. Divide three equal parts and write the fraction and then circle the fraction two-third. In question six, you will divide into six equal parts. And likewise, you will do question seven and eight. First, draw the number line, write the beginning point and the end point that is zero and one, and then start dividing the number line into the denominator given in the question and write the fractions. And here are some sample answers. I hope your answers are same like mine. So that's all for today's lesson. I tried to keep it as simple as I could. 
so that you can understand well and we are going to use this concept in coming lessons so uh, it should be clear if you have any question you can send me on whatsapp i will answer your queries and questions and your homework is assigned online so log into your person account and do your homework till then take care and stay safe